there's another form of the equation for a line and it's called point slope form and it looks like this y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 and in this equation m is the slope of course x and y are the variables and then x1 and y1 those are numbers and those represent the particular coordinates of a point one specific point on the line sometimes we have a point and that would be at x1 y1 we have a point and we have the slope of a line that goes through that point in that case we can find the equation of the line with this formula and this this formula this equation right here is easy to remember if you remember where it comes from and it just comes from the equation for slope if you have a line and here's some point on the line some particular point and we'll say it has coordinates x1 and y1 and then any other point on the line could just be called xy well in this case we have a rise and a run and you can see if you draw in these lines indicating how far up you go going from one point to another and how far over you go you can see that the rise here has to be y minus y1 the difference in the y coordinates and the run here has to be x minus x1 so in this case for this line that I've just drawn the slope m is going to be the rise over the run and in this case the rise works out to be y minus y1 and the run is x minus x1 and then we can just rearrange this equation if I multiply both sides by x minus x1 then on the right over here the x minus x1 and the x minus x1 cancel and I'm left with y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 this equation right here so that equation just comes from our formula for the slope of a line rise over the run and it's called point slope form because it's useful if we're given a point that would be x1 y1 and the slope of the line and we'll look at some examples with this